On Tuesday, American citizens around the nation participated in one of the most consequential elections in American history. With initial numbers forecasting record-setting voter turnout, the 2020 election saw an increased emphasis on young adults voting. We interviewed Daniel Flynn, an NHS alum and first-time voter, to get his thoughts on the importance of voting. Voting for the first time this year for me was interesting to say the least, but regardless, I was glad to participate just due to the high stakes of this election. I think it's important to vote because even though it doesn't affect me directly, it affects the people around me that I care about, like my friends, family, and even affects the people around the country that are struggling currently. Advice to all future voters is to stay politically aware and don't be afraid to make your voice heard because we will be the generation to bring the change that we so desperately need for this country. We also spoke with State Senator Joe Comerford and State Representative Lindsay Sabadosa to talk about what the impact the youth vote has on local, state, and national elections. What's at stake um, in this year's election? I will say that uh, at my age, uh, and I'm considerably older than you, this is the highest stakes election in my lifetime. I think two things are true. One is, and this is for me personally, one is that the election of Donald Trump didn't happen out of nowhere. It didn't magically appear. There was enough unrest, enough injustice, enough fracture and polarization in the United States to make an election of someone like Donald Trump possible. So I think that's true. What I also think is true is that tomorrow, uh, which by the time folks are going to see this, this will be Friday, this is Tuesday, um, but tomorrow for us, I think, is an opportunity for Americans across the board to make a decision whether or not we want another chance at building something that's just and equitable, built on principles of racial justice and class justice and gender justice. Well, I think that first and foremost, one of one of the most important things that is at stake in this year's election is the role of the United States within the world. Um, right now, over the last four years in particular, uh, the United States has really taken a very isolationist stance. We, we do a lot of go it alone. Um, and that is an interesting approach to take during a global pandemic in particular, where it does feel that international cooperation and sharing of information would be really, really important. And so when it comes to the future of young people, I like took it up to like a very big level. And I'm going to try to bring it back down to a more, a more granular level. Um, when it comes to young people, I mean, I think it really, what's really at stake is your future um, and the United States ability to meet the needs of of its of its residents. And so this election is really a choice about do we stay in this America first isolationist mindset or do we do what we often say we want to see happen? Do we work with other people? How do I as a state official um, interact with local officials and then how do I interact with federal officials? Um, and I wanted to run for state office because I think state government, and I actually think local government, can do things really well. One, I call it a line of defense. Uh, I believe that we can and have in Massachusetts during the Trump administration said, okay, Trump, Donald Trump, you can take us out of the uh, Paris Climate Accords. You can threaten a woman's right to choose. You can take away heating assistance for elders, for God's sake. Um, but we're not going to do that here in Massachusetts. Here in Massachusetts, we're going to fight back. There's a really strong connection between state government and local government. Um, but in terms of state government, what elections, what the election results look like across the whole state of Massachusetts matter a lot because it matters what kind of coalitions we can build within the state house. As a society to promote the engagement of youth in politics, expand voting, make it real, make voting rights universal. Uh, I believe in ranked choice voting is one of the expansions that we haven't seen yet at, the, as, at a commonwealth level. But do what we did during COVID and then some. Make it possible for everyone who wants to, to exercise their right to vote and make it meaningful for people. Well, first of all, we actually have to listen. 
Um, I don't think anyone feels like they want to be engaged if they feel like they're being, if they're not being heard, if they feel like they're being spoken down to, if their opinions are being discounted when they do share them. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to tune in next week for more episodes. Have an amazing weekend.